Here I have my 24 by 36 sheet. What I'd like to do now is scale the viewport for the floor plan. In architectural drawings, the floor plan is typically one quarter inch equals a foot. So I'll go into the viewport and down here at the bottom I have viewport scales. But notice when I pull up the viewport scales that I only have engineer scales, no architectural scales. So I'm going to have to use a different way of doing that. Now if you're, you're working in regular AutoCAD, for example, well AutoCAD, if I pulled up the scales, I have architectural scales to choose from. In fact, right here is a quarter inch equals a foot. But since we're working in Civil 3D, I'll have to use a different method. So I'm in the viewport. Down at the command line, I'm going to type in Z for zoom. And the zoom command has a scale option. So type in S for scale. And I want to enter in the scale factor. To calculate the scale factor for a quarter inch equals a foot, I'm going to take 1 and divide it by 4 times 12. It just converts 4 to from uh, feet to inches type of thing. That's the way I look at it. So type in 1 divided by 48 and then XP right after it. So this tells it to scale this scale for paper space. Press enter and now this drawing rescales to fit that particular quarter inch equals one foot. Now I can look at the size of my drawing. So I'm cropping in the window and just see how big this drawing is going to be and how it's going to fit on the sheet. What I want to do is turn this off. So I'm going to go and I have it on a layer here. So I'll just turn that off. I want to make sure that my viewports are on a viewport layer. So I'll go down here. Have I created a viewport layer? No. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to go to the layer manager. I want to create a new layer and I'm just going to call it viewport. And typically I just set those to an orange color. I do not want to set it current. So close. Now I can put that on the viewport layer. And what that does is it allows me to turn that line on and off as I need to. Right now I need it on because I want to move this into a position that would fit the sheet. All right, I have a little bit more work to do. What I'd like to do next is get in a, um, a title block and border for this. The way that I'm going to do that is go to my other drawing here. So I have another drawing that I had created and it already has a title block and border that I could use in this drawing. This will work just fine for this project. In order to import this into the other, I could just copy this onto a clipboard and paste, or if I wanted to reuse this, I'll use an option called W block or right block. So I go down to the command line, type in W block, and press enter. I want to select the objects that I would like to use, all the title block objects. So I'll make sure I select that. I could take advantage of some of these titles for the drawings as well. So I'll select those and press enter. Now I've selected all the objects. Base point, zero, zero, that'll be a good place. And then the destination file. So click on the three dot button. And what I did on my uh, flash drive was create a folder called blocks. And I'm going to call this arc block. Save. All right, everything else is set OK, and I'll just click OK. Yes, I'll include a map. And now I have this ready to insert in my other drawing. 
So let's go to insert, insert, block, and I need to browse. And I'll go to my flash drive, blocks, and here's architectural block, open, and now I want to insert it at zero. I may need to scale this. We'll see what units it comes in. Insert. And I can see this is huge. So I'll zoom extents. What happened was it's just a feet to inches conversion. So what I'm going to do is scale. Select everything here. All of this. Reference point 0, comma, 0. Scale factor 1 12th. And now it fits the sheet.